<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? I don't even know what the hell. Oh, it does that for some reason now. Uh, hey guys, uh, I'm just looking at my, uh, mod, uh, that I released. Uh, it's unreleased, I mean, my first mod that I announced last video. And I saw this, uh, comment right here. Could you do a tutorial to make a mod? And this is for you. But not just for you, it's for other people who want to learn how to make a mod. Uh, you're gonna... It's not hard at all. One second. I'm just gonna close these two things. Uh, it's not hard at all. Um, it's very easy if you know what you're doing. And only if you know what you're doing. So, what we're gonna do is... Um, I'm gonna have a code... The, uh, Codes that I use in the description, so you know what to do. Now, you're gonna need to get a few things. Uh, you need to go on Google. And these links will be in the description, I just don't have them right now, so I'm gonna go on Google. And did I just accidentally... Whoops. Uh, I don't really... What the frick? Oh my god. I typed Google. I accidentally hit enter without the dot com. And now it wants me to do just www.google. So I'm going to look up uh, Java. Uh, yeah, just look up Java. Click this. I'm trying to remember the program. I just. I think it's just like JDK or something. Okay, you look up JDK, yes, that's what it was. Um, there it is. There we go. <laughs> so you're gonna go here. This link will be in the description. Uh, so these are Java SE downloads. Java Platform JDK 7E1. You wanna download that. So click that. Hit accept, and then you can download. If you have 32-bit, just download this one right here, Windows 80, uh, 86. Because I could not download 80, uh, 64, and I, that was the main trouble I had. But then I tried, see what 86 would do, and uh, uh, it worked. And I have a 32-bit computer. So once you install that, you should get something. This 64-bit that I tried. Didn't really die. You should get something like this. JDK 7E1 Windows I568, or if you have 64, you should get JDK 7E1 Windows slash dash, I mean, X64 bit. So, now that you've installed that, we're gonna get another link, and it's gonna be Eclipse. So I spelled that wrong. Well, you're wrong. Uh, you're gonna do the first one. This will also be in the description. If you have a 32 bit computer, just the download links are right here. If you have 32 bit, download 32. If you have a 64, download 64. Easy. Now, once you download that, you should get something like this. It says Eclipse Java Indigo SR1 Win32. Right now, we're gonna go right in there, click the Eclipse folder in it, then look down where it says Eclipse, and that should have application under it. For the type, if you use my kind of like setup for the things, you know, how you sort out. So I just click that application. It's Eclipse with then application not Eclipse Eclipse C. Then extract it, but before you extract it, go and make a new folder. Name it. Uh, let me think. Let's just name it Minecraft mod for now. 
make sure you remember where it is. And grab mod, just click where that is. Then extract it. I'm not gonna extract it because I already have a one um already set up. Actually, I'm just gonna do it right now. Change my mind on that. No, I did not want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Failure. Now while it's doing that, we're MCP. So I'll go back to Google if I forget to put this in. Do look up MCP 4.4 download or whatever one's the most recent. Just look up MCP download. MCP deletes, releases, deletes, comes with that. It should say my, MCP releases uh, Minecraft uh, modding. You get the point. Mod co Minecraft Coder Pack. Sorry. Um, go down where it says MCP and then 4. Dot something X or X. Dot X. Whatever it's for. Uh, they have. Um, right here they have a MCP 4.5 for Minecraft 1.9 pre release. <laughs> Five, um, I don't think they have it for six yet. Pre release six, I think it's only for that. Um, so now that that, that new hit where it says MCP 404.zip, not, do not do pre release five unless you have it. And I don't know if anything's different from it, so just don't do that. Uh, go to MCP. You download that. Once you click this, it'll send you to a media file link. Just download that, and it'll be right on your desktop. So, that's still doing that. Um, once you find your MCP, which I'm doing right now, MCP44, um, you're gonna phone text. Second. Okay. Um. Now we are going to forget what to do. Oh wait! Stupid me. <laughs> Make a new folder named. Just name it Minecraft Mod. So Minecraft Mod 2, you're going to open that, you'll get a fresh folder. Now, just go down in here, just copy everything in here if I'm correct. While that's going, uh, go to Computer, where it says that, right click it, go to Properties, uh, go to Advanced System Settings. That's up. Okay, go to environmental variables. Now, before you do anything else, you want to go to computer. Go to your OS. Program files. You go to Look for Java. It should say Java right here. Go to JDK 1.7.0 underscore 01. Go to bin. Right click on any one of these. Just go to properties. Then you want to go to C. Then just copy this. 
copy it and cancel that. Go to right over here on your environmental va variables. You want to make a new one. Text again. One second. You're gonna make a new one. You're gonna name it Path, capital P, and then the rest is to get the underscore. Under, under case, you got the point. Can't talk today. Variable value, just copy what you pasted from here into there, then hit OK. And then this is just its computer reading. And then once you hit that, hit OK, and hit OK, and then you're done. Or hit apply at least. Now that we have copied our files into where we uh, one second. Now that we've done that, we are going to uh, go to Minecraft and we're gonna update it. But since I already have a new updated. One, uh, I don't need to do that. Now let me exit it, please. Screen Minecraft. Thank you. Now go to run. Once you've updated, go run app data dot Minecraft bin, then copy your Minecraft folder. I'm sorry if I'm going a little too fast for you guys. I'm just sorry. Uh, then go back to your Minecraft mod 2, or whatever you named it. To go to jars, then you want to paste your minecraft.jar into there, your fresh one. Then, what you want to do is you want to hit decompile, which takes a while. It takes a while just to decompile it all, and what? Oh, one second, guys. I always make this mistake. I'm very sorry. Uh, you need a new folder inside the jars named bin. Then you put the craft folder in there. Sorry about that little mistake. I keep forgetting about that. So, uh, well, yeah, this one might uh, really take a while to decompile the client. And do not worry about the server. We're not doing the server. Uh, that will take a while for me to get to the server. Because I want to do as much as I can on the single player modding. Then, uh, then um, multiplayer. And multiplayer, nobody really needs mods on multiplayer. I mean, come on, guys. So, this one. Um, I will pause this, and once it's done, I will be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, once it's done, you'll get a little bit of this coding. Um... And I forgot one very important step. Uh, go to search. You want to search for CMD or command prompt. Open it up. Type in Java C. I think. And then you, yeah. And then you should get all of this. If you get all this, you've done your path and then your Java stuff correctly. Sorry, I forgot to say that. I forget a lot of things. <laughs> so once it's done. Uh, it's gonna recompile it. And I don't know. I don't know what this is all about, but I really don't care. Cause it's done. So now you'll get all this and stuff. Now that you got all that, you're gonna go to your Minecraft mod folder. Go to Eclipse. Then run Eclipse. The, since this is the new fresh Eclipse I'm using, uh, we'll need to select a workspace. Your workspace will be go to browse, go to a, a 
your Minecraft. Minecraft mod 2, sorry. And then go to you click where it says clips, and then hit OK, and then hit OK. Go to here, CSR, net.minecraft.crs, I mean, suit. SRC and we will talk to you next time where I show you the actual tutorial on how to make your first block. Then I will make your then we will make the new item after the block. I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.